you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over what you guys should be doing right now at this point in Madden. So I was thinking about it, right? And this video did very well. You guys really seem to enjoy this information. So I was thinking, this could almost be like a weekly, bi-weekly thing. Where every week or two, I pretty much go over, like, the status of Ultimate Team. And I tell you guys what you should be doing. Like, when thing, like if there's new solos out, new this, how you should do things, and what you should do, and what order to get certain rewards. I think that'd be a very great thing to do on the channel here and there. Because it did well, it did, did dead. It did very well last time. I came out weird. I said it with like a V. Anyways, it did well last time. So I figured you guys would really like that. And it'd be very informative. Especially because Weekend League drops today. New content drops today. There's a few things I can go over right now. Especially, this is also assuming that you did a lot of other things right now. So I'll, I'll skim over them real quick. But I'm not going to go through a lot of older stuff. Because obviously, if you guys already... It's, I've said it enough times. It's like saying, go do NFL Epics and all that stuff. Again, like you guys have probably done that already. So I'm going to move on to the next stage. It's the second week of Madden officially since launch day so you know we're gonna be rocking with that now guys if you're new to the channel we hit 4k sub yesterday coming off the day before we hit 3k subs you guys are killing it you guys are going crazy right now so every single one you watch this video i i think you guys could do it i think we could hit 5k sub by tonight i don't know don't don't take my word for it but i think you guys can handle it so everyone watching this video go down below and go break go crack your screens and go break the sub button Turn on the noti bell to get notified. Let's hit 5k tonight. Let's drop 200 likes in this video if you guys could do that because you guys have been killing the like button also. And comment down below if I've missed anything in this video because I always love feedback for that. Now guys, let's get into this video. So first things first. I always like to look at the objective list, but guys, just going to warn you real quick. There's not much there this week. There's not much yet. There's still Mutt Master, Pat Tillman, which obviously no one's probably close to yet. I mean, unless you're really sweaty at this game, I don't know. There is the level ups. And if you haven't done level ups, stop watching this video and go do... I'm just kidding. Don't, don't stop watching this video stop watching but if you guys haven't done it already start leveling up that is the biggest thing to be doing in the game right now if you haven't at level 50 yet just don't play the game you need level 50 level 50 gives you 500 to a million coins depending on what you get out of everything you get power passes free players there's so much value to be had at leveling up don't take it with a grain of salt go over there go level up right now mud superstar is important nfl epics is important series progression is very important for trophies that's how you get von miller so in my opinion this order real quick just wrap it up Get your NFL epics done. Get your ultimate trainers done. Let's assume that's done. Get your serious progression up. Start winning multiplayer games because that's how you get the trophies like I'm trying to get to get the Von Miller 91 overall. Or you can use it to get currency back about 600k back. So all you need is 1,000 trophies. So start getting your progression up because you do get tons of trophies as you keep going up. You get 120, 60, 120, 120, 120, 120. Trust me, it's worth it. You can end up exchanging that for about 600k or you can just get a Nat Von Miller, which I'll probably do. Now, next on the list. I already said leveling up. Just recapping that. Don't forget. Get to level 50. It's not that hard. If you don't remember, solo challenges, NFL epics, Baker Mayfield, mo week three, moment five. Or moment five, week. No, moment five, week three. You, I have a video on it. Go check it out. It's uh, the fastest way to level up. You're going to see it's probably the most viewed, viewed video on my channel. Now, second, guys. This is what we're worrying about right now. So at 1030, content drops. They're dropping heavyweights. I'll have a video on that. But in case you haven't seen that, I'll reiterate right now. They're dropping two heavyweights. So you guys should probably want to watch that. You're going to want to get on that. So as with heavyweights, that's a new part of the game. When new things come out, things technically drop in price slightly, but I doubt these will affect them too much because it is a lineman and a... a an end. It's a lineman and an end. Sorry, I forgot for a second. But just good content to have. So, so as of August 8th, right, today, leave it's what, Thursday? August 8th, Thursday, and Madden, what you should be doing right now. Assuming you did all the solos and assuming you're leveled up, here comes the age-old the age old question of what you're going to do as a Madden gamer. Will you start your solo battles? Will you start your seasons? Will you start your squads? Will you start your knockout tournament? Will you start your mud draft? In my opinion, and no matter who you are, you should start your weekend league. Okay, I understand if you're not that good at the game. I, I, I get it. I understand. I knew. I know back there was a time when I couldn't even, when I couldn't even qualify for weekend league. But at least give it a shot. If you lose seven games straight, or if you if you if you play all twenty five games and you still win seven, which isn't which is bad, you're still gonna get good rewards. Like rewards are still pretty good for even if you win just seven games, just like for free, you know, just for playing the game. Now I understand if you guys feel like it's overwhelming, you can't even win a game. That's fine. But guys, I don't know if they show the rewards. I'm not entirely sure. I think they do. Let's see event details. No, they're not gonna show it. But I typically know the rewards. I mean, this is them. This is monthly. 
So this is actually really good. So monthly for weekend league is going to be fire fantasy pack. One of seven 84 plus players, 15 gold players, 36,000 training. That's insane. A fire fantasy pack, by the way, contains literally 80, all 84 players that are above. So you can get a 91 all the way down to an 84, but you get seven tours. So you'll probably pull something fire ultimate again, a fantasy pack, very similar. Just not fire fantasy. I'm pretty sure fire fantasy guarantees you like a team of the week and two other things. I forget what it is depending on the promo, but I don't know if they're going to be doing that for the first one. Even elite, right? Okay, so let's say you do gold. If you do gold, which is like just basically being average, very average at the game, you get 80 plus fantasy packs. You can get three players that could be 80 or plus, 15 gold player pack, which is like three game changer packs, and then 800 training, which is still a lot. Silver's too illiquid. Even bronze. Bronze is one elite player. And a 15 gold player pack. It's really not that bad. For just playing the game. Let's say at the worst, you get rookie. Which I think literally means like you won like one or two games. Like you probably won like four games a month, which is nothing. You get five will players just to play um, glorified seasons. And also that's just monthly rewards. You have to remember that there's also weekly rewards. Weekly, re weekly rewards, I don't see it yet. They'll probably be dropped at 4.30 when it actually drops today, by the way. 4.30 Eastern time. This will be dropping live to start playing your weekend league. If you haven't qualified yet, I think you should. I think everyone's qualified. But next, let's say you don't feel you're qualified for weekend league and you can't do it. I recommend everyone try. But if you can't, in my opinion, the next thing is head to head seasons. In my opinion, head to head seasons is what I've been playing a ton of. This is like, at this point in the game, when you guys are done with the solos and you hit your level, this is what you need to be doing. You're on that weekend league, head to head seasons, or solo battles. Those, those are the three, in my opinion. Head to head season, though, this is where I, this is kind of like my, this is my labbing period. So if you're a weekend league player, this is where I play. I learn plays, I learn my team, I learn my offense. I get my user going. And I also like going up and doing. So I'm an all star right now. I've probably been like MVP or legend by. A day or two depending on i mean weekend leagues out so maybe not till next week at this point because i'll probably be playing that but these give you pretty good rewards too i mean they're very they're, they're decent rewards there's nothing there's nothing crazy about them it's kind of like you play through one season you get like 40 trophies you go to the super bowl you get another 40 trophies you get some coins every game i get it's like 4k coins for me so that's like every season's about probably 35k coins to 40k coins plus like 80 trophies 40 to 80 trophies depending on how far i go so it's not bad at all if you win like 10 seasons, which doesn't take that long in my opinion, it takes probably a few days if you play it straight. Um, you get about, you can get Von Miller off that. So that's really not that bad, especially if you get other rewards. Plus if you type, I like to play seasons during Monday through Thursday and then weekend leagues Thursday through Sunday. And then to fill the gaps, guys, remember if you're not competitive at all, you really can't handle online. To fill the gaps, I like to head over to solo battles. So solo battles for me, it's a no go right now because with content creating, editing, posting, answering comments answering twitter playing my weekend league playing my seasons grinding my level there has been no time for solo battles but solo battles guys is where a player who doesn't like to play online competitively can take their team and go compete competitively for rewards so the rewards for solo battles are actually really good have i done them no and i you always get 25 coins for some reason even though if you don't do them but solo battle rewards are very good let me go over them real quick just so you guys have an idea of what you could be doing right now if you guys that none of that fit your your description if you just place legend, which everyone can place legend, go online, look up the best way to beat solo battles. I promise you, if you do the best way to look be solo battles, you can get le legend. Literally means like out of four, I think there's like 14 games. It means you won 12 of them, and to win 12 of them, you literally can want, run pat sales all game and just throw it to your running back. It's wide open, it's like a glitch. So for that, you get 44,000 coin quick sell. You get 60 trophies, two midfield packs, two red zone packs, two red zone packs. I believe quick sell for about 50k plus the 44k, so that's 100k about total. And two midfield packs are another 18k, so that's like 118k plus 60 trophies. So you get 118k and 60 trophies per week. If you do that with weekend league, so let's say you cut out seasons, right? You don't do seasons, you do weekend league and just solo battles. You can make upwards to about two to 300k a week, like a paycheck of just solo battles and weekend league, like 300k a week. That, that's a that can set your team. Now, if you're really good and you get in here, 100,000 coins plus four touchdown packs. Oh, okay, I take that back. I'm pretty sure two red zone packs. No. Okay, no. So four touchdown packs. Four. Wow, oh, that's crazy. Four touchdown packs. I don't know if they still quick sell for the same thing, but last time I checked, four touchdown packs quick sell for seventy five thousand. So if that is true, that is a lot of coins you get from these. I don't know. But again, if you're competitive and you're really good at this game, if you can get top one hundred in weekend league and top one hundred in solo battles, you're gonna be loaded. You're gonna be laying in your own money. But guys, that's about it for this video. I already kind of covered it. Mud squads for me. It, it's, it's an acquired case, not not my thing. You need to, you need to have teamwork and a squad ready to go. It's not really my thing to run with three other people. I don't I don't I guess I don't play well with others. I don't really know. But my point is here. Assuming you got the solos done, 
to have your level done these are the three things you want to be doing it's either weekend league seasons or solo battles you can decide they all give good rewards seasons is more of a intermediate kind of fun thing that i like to do just to get better and get some trophies in my free time and really just mess people up with marcus allen is what i'm trying to say and then weekend league is the rewards or solo battles you can choose between those two but guys that is about it and if you guys haven't already go down below comment down below if you think i missed anything that you should be doing right now also like the button for your boy let's get to 200 likes in this video i'd appreciate that a lot also make sure to smash the sub button let's hit 5k by tonight i think you guys can really do it i really do also guys turn on the noti bell to be notified and also my end screen sorry if i said also a lot i did have a new end screen it's about to show up right after this outro so just check it out let me know if you like it because if you do i'm gonna be keeping it i really like it but i want to get your opinion on it but guys that's about it thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed this video Peace.